in his first win, the rookie showed veteran boys. I thought the engine died at first. I started getting closer and closer to that tunnel turn. Alder brake, alder brake. And I realized once the tire was down, I needed to go ahead and spin this car out before I get to the corner. You know, luckily that's probably what saved us the race. After crew chief Mike Ford delivered the damage repair, Hamlin delivered the FedEx car to Victory Lake. Got checker flag. Great job, Denny. Great job. Majority of the races won aren't about the car. The 2006 Pocono race saw Denny Hamlin make one of the smartest decisions that a rookie in NASCAR has ever made. He intentionally spun his car out when his tire was blown so he wouldn't crash going in the tunnel turn. His pit crew was able to repair his race car. He went back out there and dominated the rest of the race and took home the victory. One of the smartest passes and an advancement to the championship race in the NASCAR Xfinity went to Cole Custer at Texas Motor Speedway in 2018. Custer's run Redding down. All over the back bumper. Can he get him loose? Down the back stretch they go. Here comes Cole Custer. They hit. Contact made. Tyler Reddick trying to stay on his bumper. Cole Custer trying to pull away. Cole Custer takes it in Texas. Custer went to side draft Reddick down the back stretch as they made contact, ultimately slowing Reddick down, giving him the advantage entering turn three as he took home the win. After being beaten by Carl Edwards a couple weeks before this, Jimmy Johnson knew if he wanted to win this race, he ought to be on the outside. And to the outside, he went around Bobby Labonte to take home another victory at Lowe's Motor Speedway. All clear. One last charge right here, man. It's all over, boys. What's that? The last best Here Move comes. Made outside. Too soon. Here he comes. Outside. Outside. Just like in Atlanta last March. Now he's not going to be able to do it, I don't think. They're yes, he is. Here, he comes. here he comes. Jimmy. Hey, baby, bring it. 48 car. He did it. Three in a row. Jimmy Johnson. Brad Keselowski may have pulled off the smartest move at a plate race in this sport's history. Brad Keselowski knew if him and Kyle Busch bump drafted all the way to the checkered flag, that Kyle Busch would ultimately pull out and pass Keselowski at the last second. So what did Brad Keselowski do? He was so smart, he ended up breaking them two apart in turn three and four when they had a big enough lead, ultimately giving Kyle Busch no momentum to pass him. Think about Kyle Busch. He lost the race yesterday by leading coming back to the checkered flag. And also think, think about, about the move in the trial. Right. Think about your... It's a two-horse race. Clint Boyer on Stanley Steamer. Up in turn number three. Hey, boys. A car length apart, Kyle Busch from Kipowski. It ain't over yet. Remember that start-finish line? I don't think he's close enough, Daryl. I don't think he's close enough. Brad Keselowski pulling away. It's all happening behind him, and Keselowski, for the second time, will go to victory lane in Talladega. Wow. I technically wouldn't say this was the smartest thing to do, but it worked out in the end for Joey Logano. He's closed the gap all over the back bumper now as they've caught this lower traffic. And around goes the 20, sideways in front of the 22. Kansas slides, crashing out of turn four. Logano's going to win again in Kansas. Joey Logano races Matt Kenseth very aggressively at Kansas and ultimately takes home the win. This single pit stop won Chase Elliott the championship. If this did not happen, Chase Elliott would have not won the championship. The Jackman's already in the pit box. So I've never heard that you can go back and reset it against pit wall. I mean, the penalty is the penalty. Obviously, the Jackman had a quick reaction that, well, if I go back, maybe they won't call it. He obviously knew he was early. I don't think that's an option. NASCAR will let us know, but they're calling the penalty on the nine being too early. So for a pit crew member, the play of the year for that jack man to have enough thought to say, I know I'm early. I'm going back to pit wall. Semke, that is, I'm talking MVP move. If the nine goes on into the championship fourth, that single move by the jack man could be the difference. 100 awareness. Unbelievable. Yeah. 100 awareness. And you can see how Allen was extremely happy with that. His understanding to go back to pit wall. His jackman was so smart to reset himself so they would not receive a penalty. If Elliott would have received a penalty, he would have not won the race and not had a shot at the championship the following week. 17 of the 24, they're going to try to block. Eric.
Eric, Eric gets the up into the wall. Now the 24, a big run. He slides. They make more contact. Three wide as they come out of four. Hamlin to the inside. Side draft coming from the 24 car. Denny Hamlin, William Byron through the triangle, coming up to the stripe. And as they go across the stripe, a photo finish. Denny Hamlin gets the nod. Yeah, he gets forced down there. That 17 had come down the racetrack. He does, but then he goes and he advances his position to these two cars. This is also a pretty smart move by Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin ended up passing multiple cars below the yellow line, but because they were wrecking or almost wrecking, he was able to go down there and use the excuse of he was avoiding a crash. Hamlin ultimately went on to win that day and made a lot of NASCAR fans question the yellow line rule once again. Favorite to get in is the championship four. Bell out of turn four. He's going to do it. He's won his way into the championship. Let's go get a championship. And the fight for the point right at the line. The one of Chastain past Hamlin. Wide open around the wall in three and four at Martinsville. Unbelievable. You can't have a video without the famous Ross Chastain wall ride. It was the smartest move in NASCAR history to punch himself into the championship four. Ross Chastain wall rides himself with a shot at a championship. Look who's the car chief on the 48. He did confirm to me that Jeff Gordon's crew, the 24 team, will hit the 48 when the 48 comes for its next stop. Seven pit stops for the 48 today, and they've lost positions on pit road in four of those stops. Well, Dale Earnhardt has gone out in front, but it has not been without incident here. Let's take a look at how he did it back in lap number 72. There you see. Bodine in the five, he gets trapped on a slow <laughs> car. And as he gets trapped on the slow, Earnhardt just drives around <laughs> in the dirt. Goes the now let's dirt. Take That's a good example of what Earnhardt will do to get in the lead in the race. Did you hear that wheel spin, Benny? Yeah, I did hear that wheel spin. <laughs> the bump and run. There it is. Gordon underneath to the lead. Two laps to go. The bump and run is going to get Jeff Gordon. The checkered flag at the end of the winless streak. Gordon wins the Sharpie 500. And out again. The 20 car, Joey Logano. And you see the flaps up on the front, which means Joey has spun, obviously, all the way around. That seems like uh, like to create that much pressure. Yeah. Help them up and get. He got to the corner. You see yeah. it, it was already cutting down by the time he got to the corner. Yep. Joey out of and Middletown, that... Connecticut. And congratulations to Joey Logano. Joey Logano. There he is. He gets his first career win. 19 years old, one month and four days. His dad comes in to give him a big hug. Just spectacular. And he gets it here at his home track. The driver out of Connecticut, Greg Zipidelli and the crew have got their rookie a win. You see him dragging it back and forth. He wants that Jack to come out to force a caution. And the four had to stay behind him. You can't come on. You can't blend onto the racetrack until you come out of turn number two. He's still trying to get rid of the jack. It's going down the back stretch. It's on the crew. We've seen two issues here. The 11 and the 22 in the first round of pit stops. Yes, and this is just the first round of pit stop. 40 laps into this 188 lap race. Three and four wide fighting for position. Joey Logano through the tri-oval. Logano wins at Talladega.